Hello everybody and welcome to the April 2013 $1,500 gaming PC builds of the month brought to you by Noob Computer Build. My name is Corey. Uh, this month we have the build coming in at $1,493 at the time I wrote the article on the site. So keep in mind prices may fluctuate. Uh, getting started, we have the Intel i5-3570K similar to previous months and similar to the $1,000 build. It's plenty overclockable. Uh, Pair that with uh, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler, and you will have a, a pretty well performing uh, performing build for quite some time, especially considering that you can overclock uh, the Intel 3570K uh, pretty easily and pretty high. So, and the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo comes in at $33 this month. The motherboard we have is the ASRock. Uh, extreme 6 version of the their line of motherboards for the Z77 uh, processors. Um, in the $1,000 build, we use the Extreme 4. However, we use the Extreme 6 in the $1,500 build here, and it's uh, coming in at $154, which is about $20 cheaper than last month, uh, which is perfect, uh, and which makes this actually a pretty good buy. Uh, over the Extreme 4, it has uh, some extra peripheral uh, plugins and, and stuff like that, uh, a few more uh, slots to upgrade. Um, uh, and add things to so it's not a bad buy for future proofing your build all right moving on the graphics card this month we have the sapphire radeon hd 70 uh, 7970 boost card coming in at only 400 dollars, which is great uh, generally the boost cards have been coming in at around 320 so we're saving about 20 dollars here for a, a manufactured overclock card um, you'll be able to game pretty much any game that's out there right now easily uh, at 1920 by 1080 and especially even up to 2560 by 1600 resolution so there's no problem there plus you always have the option in the future to uh, crossfire the cards if you wanted even more uh, performance or if you do uh, high-end graphics work etc um, which is good to know if you uh, are going to be spending fifteen hundred dollars on a on a pc build knowing that it can do a lot for the years to come for the RAM, we have the G-Scale Ripjaws X-Series 16GB uh, package of RAM, the two, which is two 8GB sticks of dual-channel memory here, uh, coming in at currently $105.98, which is a pretty good buy. Um, I generally uh, have chosen the Corsair Vengeance series, however, they were a little more at the time of doing this video and writing the article, so uh, keep in mind, you can jump back and forth depending on the prices. Uh, they're both uh, a good package around the similar uh, 16 gigabyte, two sticks of eight gigabyte uh, packages of dual channel is what I recommend. Uh, like the $1,000 build, we have the one terabyte blue 7200 RPM uh, Western uh, digital hard drive coming in at $72. Uh, it's a good hard drive, can store quite a bit, if, especially for a gaming PC. Um, like I said before, if you need more space, buy another one, buy a 500 gig drive, or uh, wait till other drives go on sale, because uh, you can usually get a pretty, pretty good bargains on uh, uh, one terabyte drives uh, as the months go on. But you just gotta look out for them. Uh, along with the $1,500 build, we also uh, include the Samsung, or a solid state drive. And in, in this case, we have the Samsung Electronics 840 Pro series of solid state drive last month we had the regular samsung 840 series of solid uh, state drives which is about i think sixty dollars cheaper than this one however you'll get faster uh right right speeds with this and um a longer re uh, reliability in terms of uh, uh how long it lasts um which is good to know um with uh your solid state drive and this could be used as your boot drive or or also, yeah, your boot drive along with a uh, boot drive for the games you play the most. Uh, it's 256 gigabytes, so can hold quite a bit. Uh, and it, um, yeah, so it's I, I think it's a good investment for a $1,500 gaming PC. Now for the power supply this month, we moved up to the AX series of the Corsair uh, PSUs at 850 watts. Uh, it's fully modular. It, it's it's an upgrade from the TX series I was using previously, so. Uh, it's good, and uh, yeah, it comes in at $160. It's very efficient. Uh, of course, I claim uh, this PSU to be up to 90% efficiency, and it also comes with a 
seven year warranty, which is perfect. Uh, Corsair has been pretty reputable uh, with their PSUs for years, which is great because it runs your whole PC and you want to have the the notion that it's going to last, especially since you spend all the money on, on your PC, uh, that it, it'll keep the everything running. And now for the case, we have the NZXT Phantom with green trim. Enthusiast full tower uh, case. Full tower meaning it'll fit pretty much, well, it'll fit this build plus plenty, plenty, plenty more. Uh, it's a nice looking case. I have recommended the Phantom cases before. Uh, and I have chosen particularly this uh, the green trim one this month because it went down to $99, which is a huge, which is a great buy for this case. Um... Yeah, so they're usually about a uh, hundred and twenty, um, but at the time, at the beginning of the month here in April, it was on sale for ninety nine dollars. So this is why I was recommending it. And finally, we have the seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents light on super all right optical drive. Uh, as per usual, the cheapest optical drive I can find. Uh, not too important. If you don't need it, skip out on the optical drive, or else, uh, yeah, this is. $17 for probably what you'll use to install your OS. All right, that pretty much does it for the $1,500 build for April 2013. If you want, uh, there's links to the hardware in the description as well, links to the the original article on uh, under the in the description as well uh, at noobcomputerbuild.com. All right, thank you.